Hello you guys, it's Grace and today I have a new product to show you. So as you know, I really like reviewing products for you guys and letting you know what I like about them, what I don't, do I recommend them, all this other stuff. So I am going to be checking out the Lucky Tail nail grinder in today's video. I'm going to be trying it out on Penny first because she is used to nail grinders. Theo, on the other hand, has really only used nail clippers, so I thought it would also be fun to do a little bit of desensitizing with him today and kind of show you how to do that with this new product. So without further ado, let's take a look at the Lucky Tail nail grinder. So opening the box, you get this really pretty secondary box. Theo's excited about sniffing the box. He thinks everything is for him now which most things I get in the mail are for him. Just dog mom things. Okay, so this is what the box looks like. And before I get any further, if you are interested in getting one of these grinders for yourself, I will leave my link in the description below so you can check that out and get one for your dog. All right, and then this is what it looks like when you open it up. You have the user manual. So I'm just gonna take a quick little peek at this user manual here. So I will pop back in when I have finished doing that. Okay, I read through the manual, so now we're just going to unpackage this and look at it. This is what it looks like. It says Lucky Tail on it. This is the power button, and then it has a protective cap on it. So just pull that off. And then it has, uh, this side is for medium to large dogs, and this side is for small dogs. And then you can also pull that cap off and it says that is for fast grinding. And then also in the box, we have the little USB charging cord and a little soft cloth, which you can use to wipe it off. Ooh! So you just press and hold to start. He was very curious, good boy. What do you think of that? <laughs> He's thrilled. Yeah, that's pretty weird. To switch speeds, you just push it again. That's a fast speed. Good job. He's so curious. And then you just push it again to turn it off. <laughs> what do you think? He's already kind of been desensitized to the sound of it um, with another grinder that I've used in the past. So we can probably jump right in with actually desensitizing to the sensation when we get to that. But we're going to start with doing Penny's nails and seeing how it works. Sorry for the funky lighting here. I wanted you to be able to see her feet while we do this. And there she's already throwing her feet out. So we really focus on choice in our nail trim. So if she pulls away from me, that's fine. Um, I reward her when we do her nails. So you'll see kind of how it works. And obviously she's throwing her feet at me. So she's pretty comfortable with having her feet handled and everything. Also the panting. <laughs> can be a sign of stress, but in this particular instance, my apartment is just very hot. <laughs> Got my handy treat pouch here. We're gonna do the high speed. Good girl. So just using the top like that worked pretty well. Um, I'm gonna try it with the cap off once and see how that goes. Ooh, very nice. Uh, it does have the LED light, which you can see, which makes it a little bit easier to see your dog, um, see your dog's nail and also the quick. Her nails are a little bit too dark. It doesn't really uh, show the quick through, turn that off while I talk, um, through her dark nail, but um, with Theo, I imagine it would. Good job. Very nice. So it does take quite a bit of nail off and it seems to be working really well. So we're just gonna go ahead and do all of her nails and I will come back with my final thoughts on the product. All right, so it worked really well to do Penny's nails. It's definitely a little bit softer of a feel than some of the more like industrial grinders that you see that can be a little bit harsh, especially if you have a dog who's new to grinding nails. I'm gonna go ahead and show you desensitizing Theo. Yes. Yes. Yes, 
gemuk. Okay, so I'm not sure how much of that you were able to see, but Theo was obviously a little bit uncomfortable with the feeling of the vi vibration on his feet, which is pretty normal actually for a lot of dogs. And Theo was, when I first got him, he was very sensitive to any type of nail trims. So it took a really long time to get him desensitized to just normal nail trims. But <laughs> continually working on it and doing stuff like that is a great way to build their confidence with new sensations on their feet. So you would want to just kind of continue doing these types of training sessions, just very short, low stress training sessions like this. I wouldn't want to do it more than a few minutes at a time like I just did. And obviously I can tell he's not too stressed. He was pulling his feet a little bit away, but he would move them back forward and he wasn't showing any obvious stress signs to the point where I would discontinue working on this with him. So yeah, you just kind of want to pay attention to your dog and obviously he looks very stressed. <laughs> so I was basically just rewarding any interaction with the grinder. So when he would sniff it, I also rewarded that because I liked that he was interacting with it. And then every time I touched just the back of the grinder, I, was, oops, I wasn't going anywhere near the tip to his foot at this point. He's just not ready for that yet. And I don't wanna go too fast with this type of thing. You want to really take it slow and just wait until your dog is comfortable with one level before moving on to the next thing. So I was just touching with this side. He got a very good idea of what the vibration will feel like on his foot. And I was just doing it on the top of his foot and then kind of by his knuckles, not on the nails yet. So that would be the next step is touching his nails with the, the vibration. And then eventually you would move to just touching his nail with it, not grinding yet, just touching it and rewarding him for that. And then eventually you can start grinding for short increments of time. So, uh, I hope that was really interesting. I really like this grinder and I'm definitely going to be using it a lot. As I progress in getting Theo used to a nail grinder, it's not something we've really worked on a ton, just general desensitization to the sound and to um, just being around it. So this was his first real experience with actually being touched with the nail grinder. So I thought he did pretty well with that. And of course, Penny's an old pro and handled it amazingly. If you're interested in getting a Lucky Tail nail grinder for your furry friend, be sure to check out my link in the description below and you will be able to go on their website and check it out. Thanks again to Lucky Tail for sending me their nail grinder. I really like it and can't wait to continue using it in the coming weeks and months. Alrighty, please like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you're going to try out Lucky Tail for your furry friend or if you'd like more tips on how to desensitize. I am happy to answer comments below as well. And subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!